actually a right candidate in a wrong election? Well, <laughs> a very interesting historical perspective there. Now, the thing is this. I said that if Azimio will want to conduct the election on the basis of re democratic reforms mm -hmm. and that part of history, then it will be a very thin ticket, but in a wrong election. Remember that the concerns of citizens of Kenya in this election are a bit <coughs> different mm -hmm. from the arguments that initially uh, were about the uh, Martha Karua Raila Odinga ticket. Now, for example, the, <coughs> sorry, they've, they've used much of the time to discuss about the gender agenda in this election. I think it's fine. It has stirred up national and even regional debate. But let me ask you, if they were to stick on the argument of gender, will it bring in the votes that they desire? The answer will be no, because today when you go to Lokichogyo, to get, today when you go to Wajia mm -hmm. and Mandera, today when you go uh, to uh, Kaloleni, deep down in Kilifi, <coughs> and meet uh, local women there, the younger people there, the youth, is their concern and that they really excited that there is the gender question in this election. The issue, as I argued and I'll still argue, is that the, election, the economy of this country is going to play a critical role mm -hmm. in this election. The issues to do with food security as well are going to be very critical. If at all, in the argument by Azimio, which will be a very fine argument, they say that the concerns of uh, women in this country will be shaped by the laser lenses of Martha Karua, mm -hmm. who must appreciate or who appreciates that climate <coughs> change, for instance, affects women more than it does men. Then it's an argument that many women, whether they are uh, educated or uneducated, middle class or not, will want to buy and want to listen to. And so it remains a ticket who, which can and will be challenged by the manner in which they shape the arguments. And that's why today, as they will release their manifesto, every observer will begin to see what is it that they are promising that will be very different from what other candidates have promised before. Now, as I sit here mm -hmm. with the benefit of a very sharp memory, I recall how dramatic the Jubilee Manifesto was in 2013. In fact, no party has ever presented a manifesto in such an exciting and dramatic way as Jubilee did in 2013. But of the Jubilee Manifesto, exciting as it was, how many things were implemented in that manifesto? Mm -hmm. The promise of a technology world in Kenya, the promise of free laptops <coughs> in Kenya, have they been implemented? When you look at all these things, remember when they had a promise of food security and then we had ended up having the Gulana, Galana Kulalu scandal, then tells you that political parties may have lofty ideas for implementation for purposes of exciting the <coughs> masses. But when it comes to implementation, mm -hmm. they face an uphill task. In fact, I can tell you, and you, you can fact check, that on every <coughs> critical pillar that Jubilee presented their manifesto, there was a scandal in that pillar in the lifetime of Jubilee. Wow. <coughs> and, and of course, um, so the question is, because you said the economy is what is defining this race. It is. Actually, so, the economy is defining this race. Right. So what credentials do you see in the tickets? Because so far you have five presidential candidates. It's, um, uh, Walter Mungari, let me just give you the list of um, those tickets. Walter Mungari is running with Rachel Mwakazi. George Ojakwa is running with Justino Amboy Omai. David Mauro Wahiga is running with Ruth Mutua. Uh, William Ruto with Rigadi Gashagua, Ray Lodingo with Martha Karua. What in those tickets represents a real focus and a qualification to deal with the economy? So far, uh, objectively speaking, uh, Ray Lodinga and Martha Karua and William Ruto and Gashagua have discussed issues to do with the economy in a very elaborate way than any other of the candidates, in a manner that nearly many members of the public can recall. However, a number of these ideas about the economy and how they will shape it are a bit fluffy. For instance, when you listen to, say, uh, Raila Odinga say that we shall build, build <coughs> industries, which specific industries are these? Where will they be located? And how will his administration pay for it? If, for example, uh, Deputy President William Ruto says that we shall uh, have uh, you know, no, or build SMEs and have 100 billion shillings kitty, where will they get this money from? How will they cater for it? Because what Kenyans must ask every or each of these presidential candidates is that for every project that you're proposing, 
how will you pay for each of them? Because unless we ask these questions, if, there, if somebody just says that I know where no, how no, corruption we'll, happens... We'll get back to that, yes. uh, because I was asking, because you were saying yes. uh, that uh, if we were in a reform mood, yes. then the Karua addition to the uh, Odinga ticket would, so, would be so powerful. And I'm asking if the economy is the issue here, if which the, of this represents an economist or an economic... Both role? tickets, I think, are making argument and shaking arguments. arguments. The, Personal the, qualifications and credentials. Now, let, let's face it. If it's a question of personal credentials, now, Martha Karua, for example, being a running mate, Royal Odinga, in the Azimio, has got, uh, you know, a crisp, uh, crisp you know, uh, curriculum vitae with regard to <coughs> matters, rule of the law, matters to do with accountability, and she has spoken sharply on that. Royal Odinga, as well, he has spoken and worked so hard on matters to do with uh, democratic and constitutional reforms. Now, that ticket sounds impressive or seems impressive. But I think looking at the history of persons who have not been heads of state or in, in the presidency alone may not give me the excitement that I may need or any, uh, any Kenyan. Because look at it this way. Mm -hmm. There are some very sharp and brilliant individuals who have been in the civil society before. When they got into power, they were linked to corruption scandals. So for me, the issue of credentials alone in their past mm -hmm. will not excite me or anybody, any of these tickets, that now we are sure there will be no scandals in the administration. Mm -hmm.